Parang hindi na sila natitinag sa contempt order eh. I think malalaman po nila ito and they will be flagged, no? Kung bakit magkaparehong pangalan and uh, magkaiba yung signatures. Exactly the same spelling and exactly the same family name. Tama po ba? Very obvious, Mr. Chair, na hindi lang po si Mary Grace Piatos ang nakita po nating questionable. Nakikita din po natin na may, may mga acknowledgement receipts, Mr. Chair, na pare-pareho yung pangalan na magkakaiba yung date na magkakaiba yung kanilang pirma, Mr. Chair. Mukhang widespread po ang nangyaring ano, uh, pag-abuso sa pondo po ng ating uh, uh, gobyerno, Mr. Chair, so far as the utilization of confidential funds. Is it just a coincidence that, coincidence that the same two offices heading by the same person submitting to you the same acknowledgement receipts, receipts can encounter two persons, how, li how unlikely would that be? Two persons with the same name, bearing the same spelling, same last name, with the same first name. First name. Possibly po po yan. Um, kung titignan niyo po ba yan, Ms. Camora, yung sulat po ba dyan, pagkapareho? Uh, hindi po. I think it's very obvious, Mr. Chair, that the signatures, Mr. Chair, acknowledgement receipt submitted by the Office of the Vice President is quite ano, different from the acknowledgement received, received by the Department of Education. No? Parehang pangalan, pero mukhang magkaiba. Is it true, Mr. Chair, that uh, I'd like to ask Attorney Camora, is it true, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, na magkaiba po yung auditor dung sa OBP at saka the same sa Department of Education? Attorney ng COA sa wakas at nagsalita na, ibinuking na kung sino si Mary Grace Piatos at si Cocoy Villamin, nagbigay na ng pahayag ang attorney ng COA. Batay pa sa nagsidatingan na balita, kinwestyon ni Congressman Zia Alonto si Attorney Camora, ito'y nang sabihin na peke ang mga ipinasang pirma at tumistigo naman ang attorney sa Kongreso. Harapan tinanong kung si Mary Grace Piatos nga ba at si Cocoy Villamin ay mag-ama at pinalitan lamang ang pangalan ng mga ito. Mabubuking na ang tunay na salar rin, lulutang na ang totoo sa confidential fund. Parang hindi na sila natitinag sa contempt order eh. Come so we sec. don't want to set this example that anybody who does not like to attend, hindi ko alam kung whatever reason, dahil ayaw lang nila sumagot sa committee na ito, ay gagamitin lang nila yung convenient reason na nagkakaroon sila ng travel order. Travel order, uh, Mr. Chair. Come sec, how many times did they send us the, ano, their excuse letter that they are on official travel. Your Honor, from the time as a peanut, a testificandum was issued. So for, success, and successfully served from November 11 to, to today, since there's a standing um, contempt. For the first four hearings, they sent position papers stating points that, uh, why they are not attending, Your Honor. After that, travel orders na po, Your Honor. It's really bothering, Mr. Chair, because Tam, itinanong ko nga, who really approves the travel order? And then it's obviously, Mr. Chair, that there's a, ano, there's a deliberate uh, attempt to really frustrate the proceedings and for this committee to really find out kung ano talaga itong mga allegations na kinakaharap nila ng opisina. Just to uh, put that into record, Mr. my manifestation and my frustration as well, Mr. Chair. The Chair would like to recognize the first interpolator, Congressman Z. Alonto Adyong. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Mr. Chair, I'd like to take off from the previous discussions that we had last November 5, Mr. Chair, where the committee has already, been, has already established a numerous... Uh, acknowledgement receipts uh, from the Office of the Vice President as well as from the Office uh, Department of Education. Uh, these uh, various of these uh, acknowledgement receipts uh, bear, bearing no names in only signatures, Mr. Chair. Now, we have already established that in the last committee hearing. There were even uh, acknowledgement receipts, Mr. Chair, uh, with names that repeatedly, no? Uh, hindi lang dalawang beses, uh, even thrice, tatlong beses pong nag appear sa ito sa mga sets of acknowledgement receipts. May mga acknowledge acknowledgement receipts din, Mr. Chair, na pare-pareho ang pagkasulat. 
Um, at yung iba, yung iba, pare-pare yung tinta ng, ng kanilang ballpen na ginamit. Na there have been numerous other observations, Mr. Chair, which lead this committee and at least this representation to believe na meron talagang questionable yung processes at mukhang gawa-gawa no? uh, yung itong mga acknowledgement receipts na ito, Mr. Chair. Uh, so since then, since we started discussing about the acknowledgement receipt, Mr. Chair, uh, there were numerous, numerous uh, inquiries from the public asking me kung how important is this acknowledgement receipts are. So, pag-usapan po natin yon, and I think this is part of my manifestation before I go on proceed to proceed with my questions, Mr. Chair. Ang uh, Ang mga acknowledgement receipts na po ito ay sinumite ng, sinumite ng Office of the Vice President at the Department of Education bilang documentary evidence of payment for the supposed uh, expenses using confidential funds, uh, Mr. Chair. For the record and to answer the public, Mr. Chair, uh, yung buong kabuuan po ng confidential funds ng Office of the Vice President uh, totaling 500 million pesos as well as the confidential funds of the Department of Education totaling 112.5 million. These amounts were liquidated, liquidated, Mr. Chair, solely through the acknowledgement receipts. Um, totaling with a grand total of 612.5 million of these public funds utilized um, na ginamit na ang binigay lang sa uh, sa COA as a as a uh, justification for the utilization of these confidential funds ay yung acknowledgement receipts na marami ho tayong nakita in the previous uh, hearings na medyo questionable iba yung iba ay to a point na nakakatawa Mr. Chen I would just like to cite an example and let me go back to the previous again uh, acknowledgement receipt that was first observed by Chairman Romy Akop. How many um, acknowledgement receipts are we talking here, Mr. Chair? No? Uh, based, based on my office uh, count, there are almost 4,500 acknowledgement receipts na nanggaling po, in total, no? both nanggaling po sa Office of the Vice President Pataniran po uh, galing po dun sa Department of Education when uh, the Vice President concurrently holding the office as Secretary. Uh, roughly 4,500, 2,670 from the Office of the Vice President submitted uh, acknowledgement receipts and 1,820 with no zero invoice, no um, invoices, zero official receipts. No, lahat po ito acknowledgement receipts na walang attachment of proof of identity no or the existence man lang ng yung supposed recipients nito ay buhay or totoong tao so this is this is what we find out during the previous committee hearings and this is what i think the observant observation of this represent, representation would like to find out may i uh, again let me go back to the previous discussion that we had at naging nagkaroon din nito ng national traction eh. may I request the uh, comsec to please flash the first acknowledgement receipt that was uh, noticed by Chairman Akop. Ayan po, Mr. Chair. Yung Mary and uh, Mary Grace <laughs> Piatos. No? Isa po yan sa mga acknowledgement receipt na naisumite sa sa commis uh, Commission on uh, COA, Commission on Audit, na alam naman po natin na yung pangalan na Mary Grace ay isang restaurant, yung Piatos ay isang chichirya. No, If you ask me, uh, medyo questionable kung meron pa talagang taong nagngangalang Mary Grace Piatos. Now, we could not find out whether this Mary Grace Piatos is indeed a person or alive because there's no uh, corroborate attachment to it other than the acknowledgement receipt na receive natin, ang permado niya. So, Mr. Chair, uh, this prompted, Mr. Chair, in fact, some of the members here, and I guess members who came out with a, uh, ano no, yung pabuya na kung sino man ang makakapagturo, Mr. Chair, sa taong ito na buhay, uh, we are willing to provide uh, 1 million pesos as a reward for anybody who can point us to us whether this Mary Grace Piatos is indeed a person and if she is really around alive, no, Mr. Chair. 
Uh, also, as Mr. Chair, another observation that I want to ask, I think it was all also already mentioned during the previous hearings, that there are names appearing in both the acknowledgement receipts from the OVP and as well as from the Department of Education. Pero may, may isang pangalan na nag-stand out sa akin among all the acknowledgement receipts na sinumitin nila. So, Mr. Mr. Chair, just to maintain the confi confidentiality of the activities, uh, assuming there were any such activities, Mr. Chair, I would just like to just um, show to you the signature of this particular acknowledgement receipt which I noticed, Mr. Chair. No? Uh, may I uh, request uh, our ComSec to flash the second Yan po. Um, ito po yung acknowledgement receipt galing po yan sa Office of the Vice President. Yung set po na sinubmit. Uh, gusto ko lang pong tanungin ang uh, ating ang kawala. Is Mr. Chair, is uh, Ms. Ka Ka Kamo Kam Kamora present? May we know if uh, representative from Kowa is present? Party Attorney Kamora. Kamora. Yes, Attorney Camora is present. Attorney, uh, come say, can you please flash the... Uh, you have already taken your oath, man, no? Kasi several times ka naman umatend, no, Attorney Camora? Tama po ba? Yes. Can you... Yeah, Attorney Camora, please... please answer. Uh, yes po, Mr. Chair. Nakita niyo naman po itong ano, no? Acknowledgement receipt, no? Uh, yes po, Mr. Chair. Uh, sa, sa palagay niyo, nababasa niyo po ba yan, yung pangalan dyan? Um, it's, I think, Kokoy Villamin po. Yeah, Kokoy Villamin received on, ano ba yan, 9, no? September. September 17, 17 2023, no? So, itabi lang po natin yan for the meantime. And I'd like also to show you another acknowledgement receipt, this time from the office from the Dep Department of Education. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, can I ask Comsec to... Yes. On the left side, with black ink, that's from the OVP. On the other side, is from DepEd. Okay, pakibasa po yan, yung pangalan din po dyan sa DepEd. Um, Mr. Parang parehas po, Mr. Chair, ko, ko yung villain. Parehas? Parehas po, no? Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh. Ibig sabihin, the point, the point I'm trying to drive at, Mr. Chair, is that based on the documents and the acknowledgement receipts, receipts, which we do not have any other ways to really affirm whether these persons and individuals who have received the confidential funds were truly the, alive and truly person, may kita po natin yung medyo... Hindi ho kapanipaniwala ako, ordinary po ako na tao. I'm not an auditor, but as you can see it, Pareho po yung pangalan nila, Kokoy Villamin, uh, yung acknowledgement receipt uh, from the office of the Vice President, and at the same time, uh, from the DepEd, the same person, uh, Kokoy Villamin, from Osamis. No? Sa pagalain, palagay niyo po ba yan? O titingnan po natin, Mr. Chair, sa palagay natin, common ba yung pangalan na uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Ms. Camora, ay... Uh, yung pangalan na Kokoy Villamin? Uh, Mr. Chair, parang hindi po since hindi, para siyang nickname yung Kokoy po. So, masasabi niyo po ba ya, as a as a head or nag-audit ng Intelligence Confidential Funds Audit Office, masasabi niyo po ba yan na isang person yan? Um, pwede po, Mr. Chair. Pwede? Pwede po. Pwede yung isang person, no? Is it just a coincidence that coincidence that the same two offices heading by the same person submitting to you the same acknowledgement receipts receipts can encounter two persons how like how unlikely would that be two persons with the same name bearing the same spelling same last name with the same first name first name possibly po buyan um Medyo likely less possible. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's I highly unlikely, Mr. Chair, na uh, yun po yung uh, mangyayari, no? Um, kung titingnan nyo po ba yan, Ms. Camora, yung sulat po ba dyan, pagkapareho? Uh, hindi po. I think it's very obvious, Mr. Chair. 
that the signatures, Mr. Chair, on the one on on the acknowledgement receipt submitted by the Office of the Vice President is quite uh, no, different from the acknowledgement received received by the Department of Education. No? Parehang pangalan, pero mukhang magkaiba ang tinta. Mr. Chair, this is just one of the examples that we have received no? uh, from the uh, ano, uh, office uh, from the COA. No? Yung sinabit po nilang acknowledgement uh, receipt, Mr. Chair. Now, is it true, Mr. Chair, that uh, I'd like to ask Attorney Camora, is it true, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, na magkaiba po yung auditor dun sa OBP at saka the same sa Department of Education? Um, yung yung, yung resident auditor ni po nila, magkaiba po, no? Yes po. Oh, yung resident auditor, yes, definitely magkaiba. magkaiba po. Kasi kung isa po yung auditor nito, I think malalaman po nila ito and they will be flagged, no? Kung bakit magkaparehong pangalan and uh, magkaiba yung signatures. Exactly the same spelling and exactly the same family name. Tama po ba? Tama po, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay, thank you very much. So, I think, Mr. Chair, this is something that we should look into. The reason why I'm pointing this out, Mr. Chair, and for the public's uh, ano, uh, information, ito po yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Dahil unang-una po, with this kind of... Uh, Uh, itong pag-aabuso sa ganitong proseso ng pag-audit na ibibigay lang po nila is acknowledgement receipts, it gives us so many, it provides us so many, and it, it opens up so many floodgates of questions, which I believe, yun yung pinaka-importante po na masagot. Dahil these are public funds um, utilized, and these are, for, these are funds uh, na readily available uh, for, for their request. Tapos ganito yung nakikita nating mga mga reports sila at saka yung pag-acknowledge ng kanilang pag-utilize ng kanilang pondo. It's very obvious, Mr. Chair, na hindi lang po si Mary Grace Piatos ang nakita po nating questionable. Nakikita din po natin na may, may mga acknowledgement receipts, Mr. Chair, na pare-pareho yung pangalan, na magkakaiba yung date, na magkakaiba yung kanilang firma, Mr. Chair. So it begs the question now, how do we be able to supply answers to this question? But even because if we, even if we ask COA here, mayroon bang attachment na sinabmit sa inyo to verify whether this was given as a way to purchase information or is it a reward payment for an information that is relevant to the activity of the Office of the Vice President or the DepEd? Uh, in relation to confid confidential funds. Kasi magkaiba po yan eh. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, acknowledgement receipts po ang sinabmit nila. And I'm... Acknowledgement po, receipt po, ano po yan? That's the payment for information? Purchase of information? Or uh, both yung po, reward? Both po, Mr. Chair, acknowledgement receipts uh, ang sinabmit nila for both information and rewards. It's just that sa rewards po, may additional requirement lang po kami. Hiningin. Yeah, but unfortunately, some of these acknowledgements will report uh, acknowledgement receipts were not supported by a certificate of success. Hindi ho ba? Kasi magkaiba po yan, Mr. Chair. Eh. Pag yung in purchase of information, regardless whether this information are useful or not, talagang bibilin mo lang yan. Diba? Um, but you, the reward and payment for the information, dapat po yan may certificate of Uh, success, hindi ho ba? Doon sa agencies po na pinagpartneran for example, ng inyong opisina tama po ba yun na uh, uh, Katerni Camora? Uh, tama po Mr. Chief. And all, all, all of these acknowledgements receipts were being supported by um, the certificate of uh, success? Uh, Mr. Chair yung sa rewards lang po Yeah, but on not all of this uh, in this particular case na sinad ko po sa inyo are you familiar with this kind of ano, uh, acknowledgement receipts? Or have you came across this particular um, questionable acknowledgement receipts? Um, yan po yung mga nireview namin dati, although at that time, Mr. Chair, uh, wala naman po sa yeah, that, ano namin na That's why, yeah. That's why you have, have, that's why you have uh, issued yung observation memorandum ninyo. It's precisely because they have failed 
uh, to at least provide you the attachment to verify uh, or at least to authenticate that indeed uh, these funds that were used for a reward or payment of reward uh, were not substantiated, substantiated by a certificate of success. Tama po ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. So, so may, again, Mr. Chair, it begs us the question, gaano kalala yung pag dito sa office uh, confidential funds? I think we have just started uh, unearthing all of these problems and all of the, the questionable no, acknowledgement receipts. It, I think this is just uh, the tip of the iceberg, Mr. Chair. If we go deeper into this, mukang widespread po ang nangyaring ano, uh, pag-aabuso sa pondo po ng ating uh, uh, gobyerno, Mr. Chair, in so far as the utilization of confidential funds uh, is concerned on both uh, the Department of Education and the Office of the Vice President. Hindi lang ho si Mary Grace ang sabi ko nga po, hindi lang ho si Mary Grace Piatos po ang uh, questionable dito. Meron din pong mga pangalan na pare-parehong nag appear po on both acknowledgement receipts, Mr. Speaker, coming from the Office of the Vice President as well as from the Department of Education. Uh, Mr. Chair, just a manifestation and I believe uh, there are questions relating to this. Uh, that my colleagues would also like to ask uh, the COA. And I would yield to my colleagues to further uh, inquire kung paano po ito nakalusot at saka ano po talaga yung nature ng pagbibigay ng acknowledgement receipts, which I believe, to my mind, Mr. Chair, is open to uh, abuse, Mr. Chair. And the, the new process po ng pag uh, ganito kung ganito, if we allow this to continue on, talagang maabuso at prone talaga po sa mismanagement ng pondo na binibigay po sa mga ahensya. Particularly, Mrs., uh, Mr. Chair, uh, ito pong discussion natin ng utilization ng confidential funds ng Department of Education while the Vice President was still holding as a, the agency as the Department Secretary. Marami pong salamat, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Attorney Camora. Kung ikaw ang tatanungin, ano ang iyong opinion sa balitang ito? Mag-iwan ka ng iyong komento at atin na itong babasahin isa-isa.